A note to listeners, the following conversation between Brennan Lowry and Steve Monison has been aggressively edited, with such edits indicated by this sound. At other times, the listener will get no warning whatsoever because that's just the way it is. And now, the podcast. And welcome to episode the fifth. Woo! Steve Monison's podcast of no return. Henry V, one of Shakespeare's all-time greats. Yes. <laughs> right to it, my yeah, yes man. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll be the absolutely man. <laughs> uh, Brendan and I, Brendan Lowry is here with Happy me to today, as he will be officially, permanently, from now on. Well, I can't say, I mean, uh, you know, to eternity, but uh, for, <laughs> for a while. We just discussed... <laughs> Indefinitely. I imagine in the after that this recording space is sort of my permanent, yes, permanent fixture. <laughs> this, I feel like, yes, yes, just spend spend time recording podcast no return. That's kind of the premise of the podcast no return, right? Is that we yes. are all afloat in some sort of limbo. Yes, we're <laughs> uh, the validation of a yes man. <laughs> Like wise guys, and like you know, like good, like good fellows. I, I just recently rewatched that. First off, way more violent than I remember. It's super violent. Oh, uh, well, uh, the Joe Pesci scene is no, is notorious uh, in the annals of film violence of just cruel, uh, obscene, Ugh. heartless violence. When he kills the kid, is just oh yeah, the guy, the guy drinking the yep. yeah, the, he's serving the drinks. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and he after he kills him after previously having shot him in the foot. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, that, uh, that's but, a movie I can I can remember exactly the theater, I saw it, and walking out, like shaking my head. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure. That was a film. I'm sure. Is it? What's yeah. the what's the um, what was your interpretation of the whole where at the very end where Pesci who's already dead in the movie sorry spoiler alerts I, we should put that in the put a little he, spoiler he, alert something the top. happens to him involving mortality he has a mortality event huh so yeah. he's like he's alive again <laughs> wait is that zombie Joe Pesci was that a zombie is Goodfellas a zombie movie <laughs> it's a zombie flick that's what I was missing this whole time yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well episode five you're halfway to a free sandwich <laughs> that's right <laughs> on the punch card on the steve right. moss if we we can create the steve moss and podcast no return punch cards and if you listen and prove that you subscribe to our channels mm. we will give you a free sandwich where are we steve we're in bay ridge Ooh, local bay ridge new york brooklyn hey hey shout out to all the bay ridge listeners yes uh i went on a pizza tour of Brooklyn with my son like I don't know eight years ago and they take you to the house where they um, where, where Joe Pesci is made in in, uh, in Goodfellas oh yeah oh really yeah oh cool yeah. I actually I, this is a genuine reaction I want to go do that <laughs> yeah they show you all kinds of trivia about uh. Saturday Night Fever there's the the pizza I believe the uh, the pizza shop where John Travolta uh, Gets a slice at the beginning of the movie. I haven't seen that one since that, uh, you know, whatever the Dark Ages, whenever it came <laughs> out. Yeah, you know, and there was a lot of monks at the at the showing, so it was a while ago. Um, you know, Gregorian chants and so forth. What in the world? Yeah, we see. See, we talk. We start talking about mort- mortality moments, and now Steve's feeling. You're really feeling your age over there. Well. <laughs> Now, when you're talking to your friends, Brennan, do you, and you say, hey, check out the latest episode of the podcast. We just dropped it. Um, now, is that, is that, was that normal? Is that, is you're, that it's it? like the correct usage, mm-hmm. but in this context, no, I don't think we should, I don't, not should say it, you can, but it's like usually you use dropped for like a new diss track uh-huh. or a new like hip hop album. Or okay. rap album, I think usually dropped. Oh, let's not get on hip hop. <laughs> oh boy, Q six x nine, whatever. Oh, oh yeah, my God. yeah, right. All American hero. Let's, <laughs> let's let's just move on from that. Yeah, let's. Uh, why don't we dive into the? <laughs> why don't we dive into the world of the Goodfellas and the Bay Ridge Boys? Yes, I think that's a good idea. We'll get right to it anyway. Yes, coming to you live from Joe Pesci's Pizza Parlor, <laughs> <laughs> the Pesci Pie. 
and we'll catch you at the conclusion. Enjoy. Enjoy. We now look in at the back room at the Sportsman's Paradise Bar and Grill in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, folks. Yes, it's Bay Ridge, where you can drive your car onto the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, a bridge with an obscenely high toll that takes you to Staten Island. Something in that equation's not right. No, wait, everything in that equation's not right. But then again, uh, huh? What's that you say? Charlie Sheen was born on Staten Island? You're kidding. Well, I'll be a hobo's hot plate. They must have built a big shrine on the island, so of course paying a king's ransom to get there is a downright honor. But I'm getting off the subject here. Let me set the scene for you back at the bar and grill. Boss Totali paces nervously back and forth. Two gang members, Thirty Knuckles Gambone, a squat, balding man in a rumpled suit, fields a question from Jarface Credenza. Second in command, and though not handsome, he offers a well-dressed counterpoint to the walking mess that is Thirty Knuckles. And without further ado, or toll of any sort, we present the boys from Bay Ridge! Hey, are you sure you got the, the straight dope on uh, the Google Luga family, Thirty Knuckles? Sure, I'm sure. I spoke to more Googalookas in one day than I ever want to in an entire lifetime. Hey, here comes Bob. Hey, Bob, what do you got? Fellas, I got nothing. You can't have nothing. I'm going out of my mind here. All right, let's go over this again. I want each and every one of you mugs to tell me who you talked to and what they had to say. Dirty Knuckles can bone you first. Tell me about the Googalookas. Uh, well, I spoke to piecemeal Googalooka and he swears on a stack of Bibles that the Googalookas got nothing to do with this. Piecemeal says that the Googalooka gang has the deepest respect for you, boss, and would all shoot their wives first before having anything to do with something like this. The Googalookas are good people. Piecemeal, foul pole, Luca. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about Luca Gooka Luca, if you gotta know. I thank you for sharing that information with us all. Now, back to what I was saying. All I'm saying is that if I'm having a birthday party and I can invite one Gooka Luca, that Gooka Luca will be Luca. Your birthday party, huh? Dirty Knuckles, you interrupt me for something stupid one more time and I'm gonna have the boys take you out back and blow out a few of your candles. Capiche? Oh, sorry, boss. Now, to get back to what I was saying is that I've never known any of the Google Luga mugs, including Luca, to be nothing less than honorable in a low-down sort of way. So I believed them. Jarface Credenza, you spoke to the Cannelloni brothers. The only Cannelloni I could find was uh, Tony Cannelloni. Uh, he was uh, behind the Dunkin' Donuts near Dino's Deli shaking down Shriners for nickels and dimes. I, uh, I smacked him and I told him, lay off the old folks, and then asked him if he knew anything. Shaking down Shriners? Sheesh! Leave it to a putz like Tony Cannelloni to hit up geriatrics for chump change. And? And so I take out my piece, uh, you know, and I put it to his face and I say, Tony. I'm gonna make a donut hole right through the side of your cheeks if you don't come clean. But uh, he says he don't know nothing, hasn't heard nothing, hasn't seen nothing. Oh, uh, nothing. Pretty much sums up Tony Cannelloni. Worse than Luca Google Luca, if you ask me. You don't have a lot of friends, do you, Dirty Knuckles? Hello? Right. We're on our way. Boss, they uh, got Vincenzo Flensing uh, tied up down at the warehouse. So far, he ain't cracked, but the boy's got a feeling he knows something. Let's go. Bobby, you stay here in case anyone else turns up. Got it. Sixteen and a half tense minutes later, the gang is interrogating Vincenzo Flensing, who is bound with rope to a chair at the gang's warehouse. Sit up straight, you turkey jerk! Vincenzo Flensing, how nice to see you. I wish we could have had this little reunion under more pleasant circumstances. F*** you! Hey, you want me to hit him, boss? Uh, 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 uh. Hit me all you want. I got nothing to say. Was that so, Vincenzo? Okay, 
I'm gonna ask you once and one time only. And after that, I'll lose my friendly demeanor. Where is my bunny? What the f*** are you talking about? Don't be an idiot! Shave yourself and tell us where the bunny is. The bunny rabbit. You guys ain't serious. Listen, Chenzo. It may seem silly that I value the whereabouts of my bunny as much as I do. But you know how some people have a lucky rabbit's foot? Well, I have a lucky bunny rabbit. My father had a lucky bunny, too. In fact, his bunny rabbit was my bunny's great 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 grandfather. Just like my grandfather's bunny was my bunny's great 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 Right. Great, great, great grandfather. And so on down the family line. Oh, we're talking serious history, Chenzo. Did I ask for your help? No, but I just thought of... Don't think, just don't. It's better for everybody. But I... That's a thought. See, hold it. For a day or two at least. So you see, Chenzo. My rabbit has a very special lineage. But now my rabbit is missing. Word has it that uh, you know where he is. I know where he is, eh? Sure, sure. Well, here you go. I gave your bunny rabbit to the stork who delivers babies, and he gave it to a couple of pink elephants who lost their teddy bears. So there, you got it out of me. Okay, boys, work him over. Hey, come on, give me a break. Hey, guys, what are you doing here? Gee, isn't this a nice surprise? We ran out of bunny rabbit poopy bags back at the club, so I thought I'd take Bunny here out from the Constitutional and pick up a couple of boxes here. You know, he's not so easy to walk. You know, even with a leash, it's more of a, a, a hop. Alphonse, what the f*** is going on? What are you doing with the boss's bunny? Oh, like I said, I, I took him out for the Constitutional. Bunny had kind of this unhappy look on his face since his little den. So I thought some fresh air would do him good. Hey, isn't that Vincenzo Flensi? You got tied up there? Why is he tied up? Because we were about to beat him to a pulp. But why? Chinchu's such a nice guy. We buy lottery tickets together sometimes. <laughs> sometimes he buys me an extra one just because he's so nice. We thought he bunny napped the bunny. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Jenzo would never do that. And besides, I took the bunny and I, I, I was... Yes, Alphonse. You took my bunny without authorization. And so we are about to thrash Mr. Flensing here within an inch of his life because we thought he took it. So you were about to say? Uh, I, I, uh, gee, boss, uh, it looks like you're kind of mad. Yes, I am most definitely kind of mad. I, I was going to tell you about taking Bunny out for a constitutional, but nobody was around, so I, I just thought... Enough! Ish, I thought I had a problem with dirty knuckles. Jawface, give me my bunny. Sure, boss. Here you go. Now there, my little prince. I hope Mr. Alphonse didn't make you jump too much. My twitchy nose, little heirloom. Mwah, 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 mwah. Yeah, so fellas, uh, how about them jets, huh? <laughs> Nothing to see here, nothing to see. Mind your own business. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Bunny really seemed to like our walk. Enough! I'll deal with you later. First, I need to address Mr. Flensing here. Well, Chenzo, it appears you've been on the up and up, and that a certain numbnuts moron in my employ decided on his own to take my bunny out for a walk. Or a hop. Whatever. And so this particular numbnuts will be experiencing certain repercussions, however well-intentioned his intentions. Well, boss, I... I was... So you, my friend, are free to go. Please accept my invitation to stop by the club any time and have dinner on the house. Jar face! Give our friend here one deluxe dinner voucher with a complimentary cocktail. No top shelf. Yeah, sure, boss, but... Uh, don't, uh, don't come down too hard on Alphonse, you know, we... Uh... 
He ain't no rocket scientist, but he's got a good heart. I know all about Alphonse. We shall see what we shall see. Let's go, boys. Hey, boss. You don't hold that torch you told me to hold. Can I stop holding it now? Tuesday, Thirty Knuckles. Think Tuesday. Hey, wait a minute. You gotta untie me. Hey, wait. The boys from Bay Ridge, ladies and gentlemen. The boys from Bay Ridge. I don't know, but there's something about that sketch that really works for me. I guess I'll have to figure out what that is later on as I'm getting the high sign that we're running late and got to wrap this up. Plus, for some reason, I have a sudden insatiable craving for carrots or a Cadbury cream egg. These tricks are for kids. I'm told there will be more episodes to come, so keep listening to the show, particularly that last sketch. If I may suggest, listen to it over and over again. Yes, indeed. Now, that's what I call some really fine voice acting, folks. The boys from Bay Ridge. The boys from Bay Ridge. Mmm. Love saying the letter B. Ba 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 all right, the boys from Bay Ridge. Woof. Who will be back? A couple, some tense moments there. Well, luckily, all's well that ends well. Hopefully, yeah. uh, Vincenzo will be untied at some point. Man. Uh, not, not doomed to spend the rest of eternity sitting in the chair in the warehouse. Uh, unlike the two of us who are going to spend the uh, all of eternity in these chairs mm-hmm. doing a podcast mm-hmm. boy you know. I got a plastic chair I must have done some really bad things in my life I didn't get the, I didn't get the deluxe well, plush beanbag I was you, you have some years left to, to, to work on it and uh, maybe you'll get a cushion out of it if you're ah. just really good for like the next 50 years of your life Ooh. you know so let's just go right, right to the players okay we had for perhaps his final appearance on Steve Monison's podcast at No Return Mr. Carla Fong as narrator, doing his narrating thing. And then Scott McC as Boss Totali. Yours truly as Jarface Credenza. Mario X Soto as 30 Knuckles Gambone. And Alphonse. What a job, Mario. Sincerely. And Megan Partridge as Vincenzo Flensing. A great group effort, if I don't say so myself. Yes, I'm prejudiced. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, truly, though. There's some really, really great great work in that one. And very, very funny. Some very, very great work. <laughs> thing that ruins them. Like, he could be on a mission to find this rabbit one time and accidentally, you know, take a guy out for a swim with the fishes if you catch him adrift. That in in up, an effort to feed the rabbit? Is that what you're saying? To feed the rabbit. Isn't that that Led Zeppelin song, right? Feed the, ra- feed the rabbit? Something of a Led Zeppelin buff, but I don't know that song. <laughs> it's not a, <laughs> I, I know a whole it, lot of love. I think it's on the dark tracks, the dark album. Ah. <laughs> the, yeah, the hidden tracks. Yeah, hello, uh, Steve here, interjecting myself and Brennan, uh, just with a program note, that what Brennan is talking about is not Led Zeppelin, but Jefferson Airplane with their song White Rabbit and the chorus, Feed Your Head. And on with the conversation. Every night I have to like trick myself into going to bed. Your- oh, we're not going to bed, Steve. We're just sort of lounging uh, on the bed. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, you want to read like War and Peace tonight or what? So does that mean like the last thing you say to yourself right before you drift off to sleep is like, ha ha, got you again, sucker. Oh, that was you hovering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've been hearing that. I've been kind of lingering around. Click upload and like launch this episode right before I right go on, as, right, right as you go under. Right <laughs> yeah. as I go under. Yeah. So the last thing you did was like such a positive, fun thing. I'd rather have Carrie Underwood. That, that is know, fair. Ham history or not? I would say I want the uh, comprehensive history of uh, well, ham. <laughs> I to see a book in my head, a comprehensive history colon ham. <laughs> Uh, there have been Stranger Things. There was a there was a uh, relatively popular book. So, I mean, it's still there. You can still buy it, but it was new. It was newly written. The pencil. It was it was like it was very. Th- it was like three inch thick book, two inch thick book. <laughs> so, the history of the pencil. 
Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed today's show. We certainly enjoyed putting it together for you. Mm-hmm. Um, be sure to subscribe and comment. Uh, if, that would be wonderful on uh, any matter of any platform. Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher. YouTube, Facebook, Stitcher. Uh, we accept cash money orders in the mail. Um, postage stamps. Postage stamps. Hanoi Mailman Delivery Service. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna but, uh, thanks for, but thank you to those uh, are listening and following and your feedback's always great thank you you know love love getting some fan notes and letters and stuff that's been really yeah. really cool feeling so if we don't return before the new year happy new year happy, happy new holidays year. yeah to we're, everybody. We're not, let's be honest we're not we're, <laughs> Christmas <laughs> is barreling toward us like a speeding train right yeah. on Facebook also right now it says Steve Monison's page of no return I'm gonna switch that just to be the podcast of no return page there's a difference. Branding. Branding's branding, important. Branding. Branding. Yeah. All marketing. Speaking of branding, when are we getting our podcast no return tattoos? Team <sighs> tattoos. Well, Happy New Year to okay. those out there. Okay. And I think that says it all. <laughs> <laughs>